All right, so uh, now it's time to pick up the lid. So best to use three flathead screwdrivers. Oh, what's my little one? What the heck? So use a little small one like, like so. Flathead, and just basically go in here and just kind of pry it off. Um, find a little spot somewhere. Pry it into it. If not, you could use the uh, the valve where the valve stem is. There's a little space there. Actually, kind of get into it from there. Oh, jeez. As well. Now, this thing is really, uh, has a very tight fit. Really tight fit. All around here has a very snug fit. The other one, so this this is the, just the base XR. The other one I have is the, um, man, that's a tight fit. The other one I have is a um, the XR Elite, and those ones, the space here is actually along right here is actually uh, roomier. There's there's more of a there's more of a gap. This one, this I can't even stick this this flat head in here, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to come off. So I need to find a spot where I could kind of pry into it. Wait a minute, I see a little lip here. Oh. I wonder if that's enough to... Oh. I wonder if that's enough to stick to... Oh. I broke I broke the whatever seal it had. It had like a seems some reason it's like it was just stuck there and it didn't spin at all, but at least now it could spin a little bit. So that's good. Gives me a little bit more space right here, I think. Space. Okay, there it goes. Get my little bigger flathead in there. And I could actually get it in there. So this is where you wanna have a where you wanna have three two screwdrivers. You see, stick one in, in the one end. You can just kind of have to work it around. Around. And just keep on working it around. Um, you get to a certain point on one end, you just kind of stick another one in there. Like so. Alright. Like so. Just kind of work this around a little bit. A little bit. Hopefully, you guys can hear those, that popping sound. That's coming out of its uh, little slot. I'm trying to, oops, I'm trying to get further down with the screwdriver. So that way, it's more. Uh, start getting it in further. What you do is you basically want to walk this thing around. So, you want to, for the most part, have them all come out evenly. You can't, you can't pop out one side and because it wouldn't only, because when you do that, it actually is kind of cockeyed. And then when you come out, so it goes. So now I'm actually on two sides, it's even like that. So it pops out. Um, it pops out like so. There's the stator right there. So that's this. Yeah, so yeah, it has some kind of adhesive right here. He used some kind of glue or something. That's why it was really hard to uh, to come out, and it didn't. It, you know, initially it wouldn't even spin. So there it is. So I'm gonna basically ream this out a little bit more. Uh, let's look at my air chuck. So here's my air chuck. Uh, cause I I already used used this before, but, but a smaller version of this of a deburring tool. I kind of you know reamed it out and made it bigger. Uh, but when I did that, I left I left this thing. I didn't take it anything apart, so I left you know with the valve stem right there, and that's why I used a smaller version of this one so I could get in there. But still, kind of, still kind of you know this. Looking at this, right, the head right there it doesn't really go even go in uh, at all into that hole. Uh, I could sort of angle a little bit like this, so I'm gonna bring this out a little bit bigger so that it doesn't go all the way in, but 
it goes in a little further. Um, that way it's easier to pump up the tires. Um, let me show you guys that. So when you do this, it's a good idea to not get crap into your stator here. Uh, good thing is this is aluminum, so and this you know, these are magnets here, so the aluminum is not going to stick to the magnets. Uh, what you want to do is you probably want to get like some uh, painter's tape or saran wrap or something, and just cover this up, so that way crap doesn't get in there. All right? And here, this tool basically just goes like so, and rings like that. And you just go around, and just go around like so. All right. I actually don't I, don't. I don't really want to rim, rim the um, this side. Is it needed? It's it's the it's the inside half that what that I want to do. So, so each time I go around, when I get to the outside half, I don't put any pressure into it. Then when I go into the inside half, I put pressure. Now I have no pressure. I just do that until I feel like it's. Uh, maybe once in a while I'll test fit the the head here, um, and you make adjustments because sometimes. When you bring this out um, because your your hands not you know the pressure is not uniform uh, some spots might be more more uh, shaved off than others so you have, you have to look at that look at the spot that's they say this spot is more shaved off so now you have to kind of avoid that now because you don't it doesn't need it anymore then you have to focus somewhere else uh, and basically you're just focusing the pressure it's not that much pressure you know don't put too much pressure into it either. otherwise this thing right here will break it's only a little tiny plastic uh, piece there so i wish they did something like this at the factory where you know because this thing is you know machine where it's cast but then afterwards they machine it so they should have just added that one extra step to machine this out a little bigger so we could uh, um, we could uh, um, see it's a little bit uneven right here it's a little bit more and right here it's a little bit less because when I have to adjust with my adjustments anyways uh, so that's how you do it I'm gonna do this the rest of this off camera and I, I need to cover this up. Uh, afterwards, you should if you have air compressor, blow air compressor, you know, in the inside here first. Uh, ho hopefully whatever dust or crap you have that's on the stator or on the coils here, it'll blow out. Uh, but anyways, blow it out really well so that way everything's all clean and, and, uh, and particle free. Because you don't want any of those little particles because even though the aluminum doesn't attach to the magnet here. Uh, the aluminum could be in somewhere else and, it, and it's conductive so it will you know it basically causes a short so you short out your motor and you burn out your motor so, so don't do that um, so yes yeah, so I'm gonna do the rest of this off screen I'm gonna cover everything up and, and do that um, that uh, you know do this and once I have that done I show you guys the, the results okay put it this way all right thanks for watching <laughs>